All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922 here to bring you an anime series review. Yes, another winter. Um, this series was in the running as far as what was the best of the winter. This was in the running with, in my opinion, Noragami and I guess Hamatora, even though Hamatora was a crazy show. Um, and this series is Pilot Love Song. Yes, Pilot Love Song. You know, I know, I think I think it was Killer the Shock, and she would message me all the time about this show. It was pretty good. Better for word, it really was. It really was an emotional roller coaster. Especially when you got to a certain point. Now, the ending though, it's like one of those endings where it's like, oh, we're not, you know, you know the outcome, but we're not going to show it. What? So what, you going to have another season in show it? I mean, what was the whole point? Like, it, maybe if they shooting the shit with, with the, the, him and, and everything else when he was home, then maybe you could have shown him doing that. Irritating. It's like, if that's the case, then you should have used... It shouldn't have been 13 episodes. It should have been, uh... Like... Maybe we'll do an odd number of episodes. Do 16. <laughs> but hey, this is what happens. But yeah. Pile of Love Song, in a nutshell, was a crazy show. It really was. I didn't... I, I caught, caught my eye. No one really pointed it out to me. I just, it just caught my eye. And uh, sure enough, there were there were a lot of animes during the winter that gave me a surprise. One of them was this, Hamatora, Noragami, um, to some extent, Wizard Barristers. So, yeah. But, yeah, Pilot Love Song, pretty much summary-wise, is... This is a tale of a prince who lost everything, leaves for a journey with no guarantees of returning to his hometown safely with hatred and revenge in his mind. He met several people that taught him about friendship and love. And basically, it follows this guy, Cal. And we find out about this revolution, essentially. This, this revolution that took place and pretty much destroyed his life. You know, pretty much. Just like, his his father was killed, his mother was taken away and essentially killed, and he was going to be sent to death. And, essentially, this guy takes him home. This redhead guy who says, you know, he doesn't want to have him sent to death, so he starts living with these people. And one of them is, is his... Kind of a weird situation with this girl, Ari, who, was, who lives with him, who is supposedly his sister now. But they're like the same age. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. That whole concept in the show was very weird. Like, she, she, he calls her the little sister, and she calls him the little brother. It's weird. Remember, they have the, they're the same age. So, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> basically, this goes into... Where, like you just said, he goes on a journey. You know, to find the end of the sky and everything, and so on and so forth. And then this goes into the fact that he hates and wants revenge on the girl who took his mother and father away, took his life away, which was Viento, I can't even say the word, this girl. We're going to say. And they, I'm not going to say specifically what happens. What was the girl's name? Ah, I'm trying to find a name. Oh, shit. Yeah, Nina Viento. Which I believe... I, I think it means something. I don't know specifically what it means. But anyway, he essentially is angry at her and wants to kill her. He hates her. Despises her. But... And essentially what ends on going on is his mother... Last time he met his mother... His mother told him to forgive, to not, you know. And essentially in this show, what ends on happening is he learns 
to let his hate die and to love and gain friendship with these people who he's on this journey with. And they're basically on this like floating island that's trying to go to the end of the sky. Now, overall, going to give this an 8 out of 10. Now, I would give this higher, but that ending was, was stupid. I'm like, why are you ending it like that? If that's the case, then the episode should have been longer. Man, why not? Make it longer, the episode, and then show the rest. Because it was like a half ass thing. Like, they build it up so high, and then they end it that way. And I'm like, it's like one of those... It's like one of those fucking open endings. I'm like, no. No. At least come with it. They need at least to come with an OVA. That, that's the way I look at it. Now, not, another season would be good, but I think an OVA would probably do it justice. Like two to three episode OVA where they just come out and they show you what happens, which I'm not going to say. But the music was good in this, this anime. The animation I thought was pretty spot on. And the story was very compelling. And it, it really got to show you what it is like, what it is meant. Because this was called Pilot Love Song. And he obviously drew, um, you know, uh, wrote, you know, was a pilot. Um, planes and everything. And, you know, the whole concept of if it's love song and all that jazz. And to forget to forgive, you know, and it really took him a long time to forgive her and so on and so forth. It was really compelling, and especially when you com you consider what happens during the show, which I don't want to spoil, I think I just spoiled enough. Um, it was really compelling. A lot of emotions and stuff. I will say this, Ari, his sister, in this episode, the final episode, bullshit. What she did was so fucking stupid. I'm like, it's so stupid because, like, it's so obvious. It was so freaking obvious. That she had feelings for him. And she didn't, she just punches him and shit and, like, tells him to leave. I was really surprised. I was like, God damn. Just, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And, and you know, this is for the series all together. But, you know, I would have given it a higher rating. But that ending was, was no. I, I just don't like animes when they do that. They just, they, they, they leave it there. I'm like, what? How come you can't show us doing him rescuing her? Or doing what he had to do? Well, stupid. But this was a good series. If you really want a really good... Because um, this was a lot of genres in this. This was adventure, drama, fantasy, romance. And themes were avi aviation, um, conspiracy, friendship, military, war. And another thing, which was pretty crazy that I didn't expect. A lot of deaths. Yeah. A lot of deaths. Like, I'm not gonna tell you who. Just, just, just. I'm putting it out there. A lot of deaths. A few, a few, a few deaths. I, I was really surprised. I put spoilers in there. I'll put spoilers on this video because you know people probably say, Ooh. but it was just unbelievable. I was just like, wow. So this was a really crazy anime. If you want a really good one, this is a good one. This is a good one. Because you got a main character who's hateful in the beginning and he hates this girl, this this person, and, and he wants revenge, and that's all he's thinking about. And yet he's able to forgive and move on. And it was really, really special. It was really a real crazy uh, thing to go about. But I thought it was a good show. Tell what you guys think. But Hey, 8 out of 10. It was good. It was good. It would have been better if the ending was better. If they actually went to the process of showing you everything in the end. Um, it would have been a complete package. But still, a good show. Good anime. 
uh, to watch. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the story. Um, nothing else to add on this one. Bonkai 922. If you watch the show, like I said, prepare for some deaths. Just prepare. Prepare yourself. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good tearjerker. It's you do a lot of feels in this in this anime as you go along, especially like um, I think like midway through. Yeah, midway through, you get a lot of crazy shit going down. Oh boy, boy oh boy, it's just it's just an insane amount of um, things going down. So yeah. So yeah, that's me, Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna have a second season. I think I think the best option for them, OVAs. Just like, like I would say, like two, three, four OVAs. If not, then they can do a second season. So yeah, that's the story there. I'm Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. I will see you guys later. Probably gonna come up with another anime series review. I got Buddy Complex on tap. Get that. That's probably, depending on the ending, I'm probably going to give that a high rating. Yeah, that and, um, what was the other one? Oh, Mobile Suit Gundam Pill Fighters. Not, not going to make it as high as Bonk Horizon, but it's going to be pretty high for that one. That was, that was awesome. That was an awesome show. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.